Your true self is eternal love by Melanie Barrett. Life exactly as it appears is home, is God, is source, is heaven already. There is not a state of enlightenment in the future to be attained that will be the answer to all of your apparent human problems or insecurities or imbalances. There is no state of completion in the future where there will be no more discomfort or uneasiness for the human or divine union with God where the human won't suffer anymore. It does not exist because God, Source, is all there is already playing as your life as you. The bubble of hope will burst. All hope of a better reality that exists in the future is your mental prison. It will die. Hope holds us in a holding pen of separation. Hope says, this shouldn't be happening like this. I need it to be better. Maybe it will get better. I'll just wait for that better future, then everything will be okay. Hope says, I'll just grit my teeth and get through this, then later everything will be okay. Hope says, maybe he'll change and stop abusing me. Maybe she will be kind the next time. She doesn't mean to hurt me. Maybe things will get better. Maybe I'll start to feel better in this job that I detest going to every day. Maybe when we retire, we'll be able to relax. When I meet the right man, woman, when I'm healthy, when I'm well, when I don't suffer panic attacks, etc., etc. Hopes lists go on and on. God, Source, doesn't need hope of improvement. God, Source, is appearing perfectly now. God, Source, knows exactly what it's doing. It doesn't need our delusions of limitation and incompletion placed on it. The moment does not need to be more. Only separation needs hope of more. Only separation has ideas of how this moment could better appear. Source only wants our authenticity in this moment now, which is all there ever is. Honestly, honesty and authenticity allowing of this, here, thoughts, feelings, sensations, now, opens doorways to the change that is waiting for your truth so that it can emerge into being. Truth will set you free. Source doesn't want us to swallow our truth because it isn't convenient or it isn't nice or because it may rock too many boats or because us or cause us to be outed from the group. Source wants all parts of us now, all the messiness, all the confusion, all the fear and doubt. Source says, come as you are. Divine union with God in the future doesn't exist because there has never actually been separation from God or Source. Divine union is always now, in truth. The idea of a future heaven you'll reach if you are a good boy or a good girl is a fear-based indoctrination created by humanity to control and manipulate humanity to keep us all in line and malleable. 
if you know you are God, source itself, who could ever control you? On a side note, it's interesting to contemplate the leaders and gurus who do have and have had in the past this innate knowing of source and yet if their great unwavering power and strength has any basis at all in separation, no good for the whole can come of it. How different humanity's manifestation would be if our leaders know that what they do to you, they do to inner their self. There is only the creator, so of course you are already that. You don't need to prove yourself worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. Your very existence is evidence enough that you are already in the kingdom of heaven. Creation itself. You are made of the essence of heaven, your love, your light. There is only that. The psychological, energetic sense of separation, individual self, keeps itself on a rat wheel of hope with its wishes and fantasies of a utopian heaven in the future. Somewhere it will eventually arrive at where it will be eternally completely loved, accepted, perfect and safe enough, where it will be worthy enough, good enough to enter the divine kingdom, good enough to bath in divine peace, good enough to live the life you came to live, that you want to live. Your separate sense of self or inner child or pseudo entity is hoping and wanting, waiting for the only one who can love it unconditionally. The only one who can give it the strength, the love, the safety it so desperately wants so that the shackles of fear and separation can be dissolved, so you can create a life that wants to be lived to your natural, authentic, creative form expression. It is waiting for you, 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 your love, your forgiveness, your acceptance, your permission, your say, so that it is enough, that it is okay, that it can have what it wants. The reflection will never give you what you want. The reflection is only reflecting your need to be loved and accepted back to you. You are the one whose love you have been hoping, praying and desperately seeking and waiting for. You are already made of divine, everlasting peace. There is only that. You are the only one who can reconcile all inner turmoil and lack. Life, you, all appearance, is already unconditionally safe, unconditional, unconditionally loved, unconditionally whole, unconditionally complete, unconditionally absolute perfection, already. Life is already completion, appearing to evolve and grow. The completion, the unconditional love and acceptance you seek will never be found consistently in the timeline of your personal life. Your timeline, timeline is your growth platform. Without the discomfort of the human life story, your soul would never grow and evolve in the way that it wants to. 
A child cannot have the wisdom of an adult, some adults, until it has lived through more experiences. The experiences themselves produce the fruit of divine wisdom. No experience is a mistake. It is all for your growth and evolution. The permanent equilibrium in life's appearances that you seek does not exist. It doesn't need to. It is crafted from permanent equilibrium. equilibrium. The nature of life's appearances is swings and roundabouts, ups and downs, just for the sheer joy of diverse creative expression and evolution. The consistent harmony and equilib equilibrium that is sought is not sought by your true self. The eternal peace and love that is sought is not sought by your true self. Your true self is source, completion, eternal love already. The one who seeks safety, love, equilibrium, completion, appears in you. It is a pseudo-entity created by identification with separation that is on a path of evolution. And of course, we need to identify with separation to come existent to have the human evolution evolutionary experience for soul growth but we need not suffer so much we suffer greatly when we think believe that we are only a separate human at a subconscious level we feel we've been kicked out of the kingdom of heaven even if we are not aware of that I hear you say, I know, but I still hurt. I'm still in agony. My heart yearns for home, for peace. And I say to you, it is not your true self who suffers. Your true self has never been separate from the whole. It has never suffered. It suffers through little you. Little you is the one on an apparent ev evolutionary path of growth who suffers. It is the very illusion or delusion of suffering that elicits the soul's desires growth for this lifetime. Be fully and completely with the yearning, the longing for home. Be fully and completely with the little one suffering. It is only a protective mechanism of the human psyche that avoids, resists, rejects, tries to fix, heal, balance, harmonize, create a better state. It doesn't need any solution, tactic or remedy from you. Just your beautiful attention, just to be fully seen without judgment just to be allowed exactly and precisely as it is, words and all. Healing is then elicited naturally, not through effort, just in being. Let through you feel what little you is afraid to feel, what little you is afraid of being judged for, rejected for, ousted for, stoned to death and abandoned for, little you was never guilty of anything. Little you is pure innocence. Let God, source, light, be exactly as it appears, within you, as you, now. Welcome life, source, God into all those dark places to realize there were never any dark places at all.
even those dark places are made of light, God, Source. You have never been separate from Source. You never did anything wrong.